Hey everybody, it's Mike Sork at Sorktron on Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please check it out and all of our friends over there to support this if you're really digging what's going on here. Um, there are along the line. And sign up for the newsletter to get some more wrestling news, podcasts, DVD releases, all kinds of stuff. We're talking WrestleMania 24, the one from Florida. And uh, a really great show. Uh, and again, kind of a return to the outdoor venue, big venue. We had something like 70,000 people, I think, at this one. Whoops. There we go. Um, and it was it was a really, really fun show. Uh, again, featuring the retirement of Ric Flair. Um, you know, we had the Floyd May- Mayweather-, Mayweather against uh, Big Show, which turned out a lot better than Aki Bono a few years earlier. Um, and, and all kinds of fun stuff. Well, first of all, uh, the retirement match with uh, Flair and Shawn Michaels uh, I thought was interesting. Just um, in general... Man, it makes you tear up again, all over again, uh, going back and watching. Also, really sad to see that his last interview before uh, retiring, uh, Ric Flair, uh, ended up being him with Mike Adamley. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, but still uh, tremendously handled and 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 still a lot of fun, that match and and those moments. And, and just, just uh, Shawn Michaels whiffing and landing straight on the table just was ab- absolutely sickening to watch uh, yet again on this one. And uh, and st- and still, just a great story going in this. One of the top notch ones that they've done uh, over the years, and uh, and and so good to see. Um, even on the side of the <laughs> then there's Snoop Dogg, who just showed up on Raw as of this recording. Um, but even as far as like Big Show, um, and Floyd Mayweather, I thought it was again a really well-told story and we you know we were talking about how uh you know recently on this recording like rock messenger just popped up on espn they're everywhere and everybody's like oh look at all this stuff you know it's wrestlemania and and they're talking about the tail of the tape for this was in usa today leading into this um and that's is tremendous it's at the orange bowl down in florida and uh it, it's it, it 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 was just such a spectacle the fireworks going off to undertaker winning the belt from uh edge and just the presentations of fireworks and, and everything in the outdoor. And the lights went out during the Divas match. That was fun, too. At least it was the Divas match. At least that happened during, like, probably the least important match of the night. Not to disrespect the Divas, just how that was kind of set up for the week or for the year. So uh, let me know. Uh, oh, also, uh, uh, a three-way match, uh, Randy Orton, John Cena, and Triple H. I think is the year. I think it was the year John Cena just came back, and I think we witnessed that when uh, the Mayhem crew including myself, headed up to uh, uh, Madison Square Garden for Royal Rum that year. And I was like, oh, damn, John Cena's around. He's not supposed to be here. Um, But anyways, uh, let us know what you thought of WrestleMania 24. Hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, just go ahead and comment there and let let us know what you thought of it uh, in that regard as well. Uh, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.